January 2024 could have been called the light speed month for 7 billion parameter models. However, about 12 hours ago, massive updates dropped for two very specific 70 billion parameter models. First was a complete update to Code Llama 70B coming from Meta. So I guess Mark Zuckerberg actually has bought all the H100s currently in existence. And the last one is a set of incredibly spicy details and speculation about what might be an unreleased model from Mistral that is also a 70 billion parameter model. So moving away from from their latest trend of focusing on mixture of experts and pr predominantly 7 billion parameter models. So is this new mixture of model everything it's been kind of pumped up to be? Is it real? Is it maybe not real? I wanna get into that. And then also how good this new Code Llama is because Code Llama now is, it's incredible and it can do JSON. Welcome to AI Flux. Let's get into it. So like any good AI spicy details, these came from both Twitter and 4chan. And I know the internet these days doesn't really like 4chan, but curiously enough, the LMG subchan, really in my opinion, and Soul Engineer and Yassine back me up here, I think it's one of the best places to understand uh, and get a lot of like kind of crash course information in AI development content. So regardless of if you're doing LLMs or making AI waifus, it's a good source. And curiously enough, uh, this showed up last night. I saw this this morning and I thought I have to make a video about this. So this all starts with a developer on Twitter named Newt Jagesberg and he's linked down below. You should go follow him. And he pretty much said, I just found this model. What's up with this? So it's a hugging face link. Basically people think, oh, it's just a quantized mistral medium, move along. And the, the, the winky face here is because no one has seen that before and that's an unreleased model that has only been mentioned a handful of times. Therein begins the uh, benchmarking effort and this really incredibly entertaining thread on 4chan with people trying to understand if this is just a fine-tuned kind of repackaging of Llama 270B or something really novel. The key here is the Hugging Face page is very nondescript. This was uploaded pretty recently. This model will actually only take instruct queries, which is kind of interesting. Technically speaking, uh, certain backends like Llama C++ kind of already work with it. So the cool thing is you can run this right away. Now the question is, what really is it? And to look at this, I think it's important to dig into the 4chan thread, which I'm not gonna link, but it's pretty easy to find. So the key here is, and this is from another dev, basically saying, here's the original post. So again, the thread is pretty hilarious. So pretty much this initial post is saying the following. So it says, here's the link. Uh, this is a 70 billion parameter dense model with 32K context length. So the context length is, is the first giveaway. This is not just a 7 billion parameter model. They provide some tests. They pretty much say here, don't use custom rope settings. This model has a high frequency base and it, they're still uploading the four bit quantization. So there it is. And there lies the question, okay, but what is it? And then this huge debate begins as to what it actually is. What I will say is this model is clearly quite aware of what it is and is quite capable because you can actually ask it for what the definition of copium is. Moreover, prompted to just say, describe the feelings of a person on copium. And quite frankly, I'm a person on copium right now because I hope this is an unreleased Mistral model. And if it isn't, you know, we all had a good goof about the whole thing. So what do we know from this whole thread? I'm not gonna read through the whole thread. And quite frankly, if I make a video scrolling through a 4chan thread, I would bet that YouTube probably wouldn't appreciate that what we know right now for this new model called Miku 170B, Miku being a joke about uh, AI waifus, is that basically someone on 4chan posted this. This uses the, the same instruct format as Mistral Instruct 32K, which is the biggest giveaway. It's a Mistral model. There is some speculation this is just a Llama 2 model meant fine-tuned to actually use that instruct format. And right now the testing is extremely good with basic answers. Right now what's curious is it answers pretty similar to Perplexities coding AI and Perplexities sort of pros, which I think is kind of cool. Now, what's important to note is that Miku 2, is that Miku does technically use the Llama 2 tokenizer. So from basic testing, we know this is a part of it. It's also clearly not a mixture of experts. It's an actual 70 billion parameter model. Right now, we're not sure if this is a kind of a Frankenstein model. Maybe it's a troll. We're just gonna have to wait and see. And I'm gonna put up here kind of some tweets that are showing that yes, uh, this is using the L2 tokenizer, um, which is just from Llama. And there are certain attributes of this that give us clear indications that this is what's going on. Now, what's cool is we know that Mistral Small returns half as many words as Llama 2. And what's cool is we get way more back from this model that is potentially Mistral Medium. So for me, I'm leaning towards this being more of a real 
Mistral Medium League. And I say this because if this was just some random person, it would have been pretty hard to train this on outputs so similar to seemingly random prompts that would have happened to have also gone through the L2 tokenizer and then emerged in this way. And what's also really important to mention is we know from TechCrunch that Mistral has actually been training 70Bs for some time. So this is not something that's wildly um, unforeseen. And this is why I mentioned that we had heard of this before, we just hadn't seen any of the actual models. And we also got some more updates this morning on the uploader who put this on Hugging Face uh, about Miku2. So what's curious here is this anonymous user just going by Miku Dev says, just let, just let this discussion die, poor HF admins. Alfindale mentioned HF transfers exist. I might try that for Miku2 if that happens. Should work better for larger files. Also put this script together that prints average block errors for token embeddings. And then mentioning some stuff about CUDA. So the, the reason this is important is uh, there was a debate that since the multiple KV heads were mentioned that that was referring to experts like Mixtral. And that is not the case. Since KV heads are the groups used in group query attention, and grouped query attention is pretty much used as a means of speeding up inference that makes models fast in a lot of models right now. That aside, what we know full on is right now there are kind of some basic comparisons we can make between Miku and, Miku and Mistral Medium. They're both pretty good. Obviously, we've only seen one of them, and it's good at translating Japanese, but uh, not Russian. And a lot of what you read on 4chan might just be someone trolling you, so keep that, uh, you know, wait, just keep that in mind. And there have been some other developers that have gone on and said with raw model dumps and some other kind of prompting that they've realized that since the model hates coding for some reason and due to a number of other reasons, that they actually don't think this is Mistral Medium. And the Mistral devs themselves kind of seem to point this direction. So it's hard to tell now, but this model is really good in really weird ways. So Nistin here says this appears to just be a Frankenstein model with layers duplicated, but with more weights in a kind of a curious setup. What's interesting is also we had a recent update from Mistral devs basically saying, we have no plan to open weight Mistral Medium. We are keeping the size private. And yeah, so it's still hard to know decisively, but I'm going to say that right now it's still up in the air, but I'm leaning more towards the side of this kind of being not a real thing just yet. But it'll be exciting to see Mistral Medium, and the good thing is this is still bringing more interest on the open source side, and I think it'll be really cool to see what Mistral can do with larger models once they're willing to actually release them. Now, on to Code Llama. So this is a big official release from Meta. And the key here is we know a lot about it right now and you can use it right now. And the coolest thing with this is right now it's achieving 67.8% performance on human eval, which is important because that is the same number that GPT-4 was initially capable of in coding performance. So for the first time, not really the first time, but we have a very convincing model release that only does coding that is matching the performance of GPT-4. And you can use it right now. So we're gonna do a quick demo right after this. So what you need to know about Code Llama 70B is, again, it's a 70 billion parameter model that was initialized on Llama 2. It was trained on 500 billion tokens. There is a fine-tuned Python version, a fine-tuned instruct version to give developers even a little bit more fine-tuned control. Commercial use is allowed, which is a big deal. And the context window is 16,384 tokens. And again, it's immediately available on Hugging Face right now. You can use it right away. And what's interesting is now there's evidence to actually show that the 70B model is actually trained on around a trillion tokens. So I'm going to maybe do a deep dive into their actual doc if you guys want to see more of that. So let's try it out. So I'll, I'll link to this below. What's cool is you can see all of the different base models and all of their different instruct models here, so quite cool. They have both a, and they span from 7 billion parameters to the full 70 billion parameters. And right now you can only kind of try out the 13 billion parameter models, but if anyone has GPUs, they want to stand up to let some of us try it out. I'm very open to trying the 70 billion parameter model. And actually it looks like we can use the 34 billion parameter model in hugging chat. So let's see how this goes. So for this, I'm gonna try something difficult. Let's see, uh, create a, well, we'll do this thing in Python. Write a Python function that will let me group 
stupid coordinates from ADSB data to understand what planes be approaching or have flight paths that suggest they will pass over a 30 mile radius around my home. And for some extra challenge here, I'll say assume the format of ADSB data is JSON and contains a current heading, airspeed, ground speed, and unique ID along with an object containing other general ADSB data about the aircraft. So what's curious here is this is it's really more of a math problem because it's basically telling it, uh, tell me given points that have a speed and heading, how many of them will enter a circle around uh, a set of specific coordinates. And what's cool is this is actually pretty quick. I wasn't sure how quickly this would actually start spitting out real output. And interesting. Okay, so let me ask a follow-up question just to see if I can handle that. Uh, let's say uh, let's say I have so much data coming in. I need to pipeline using a queue, like rabbit. How could I? implement that with this code. Cool, okay, so it understands Pika can actually be used for RabbitMQ, and it understood that by Rabbit I meant RabbitMQ, which is kind of awesome. And here it's actually showing me how I can set up a relatively advanced queue to manage ingest. And here's the consumer, perfect. Sometimes they'll forget this. So this is what's going to consume the queue. Very, very cool. And awesome, okay, cool. It, it got that there was a callback, which is important. Awesome, so I am very, very impressed. This is very cool to see. Honestly, I'm gonna do some more testing and see if this is better than GPT-4. I've actually tried to do pipelining in GPT-4 and it struggled quite a bit. So what do you guys think? Uh, do you think that this new Mistral Medium leak is legitimate? Have you tried out the model from Hugging Face for this? And how many of you are developers or people who want to learn how to code who think Llama 2 is going to be your next favorite coding model? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I hope you learned something. And if you like our content, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you in the next video.